Ever wonder why pilots don't always pick the longest runway for takeoff? Actually, it's air traffic control that decides which runway is used, not the pilots. It's not just about length, there's way more going on. ATC chooses a runway based on wind direction, among other factors. Taking off into a headwind gives the aircraft more lift with less runway. Then there's traffic flow. Air traffic control keeps planes moving efficiently, even if it means using a shorter runway. Obstacles like mountains or buildings might rule out a longer runway if the departure path isn't safe. Taxi time also matters. A closer runway means less fuel burned and quicker departures. And don't forget noise restrictions. Some airports limit which runways can be used to avoid flying over neighborhoods. LAX is notorious for its strict noise abatement departure procedures, especially for runways 25R and 24L. Pilots must follow specific climb gradients and turning instructions to reduce noise over nearby residential areas like El Segundo, Westchester and Inglewood. Other airports with similar high-profile procedures include San Diego International, one of the strictest due to downtown proximity, John Wayne Airport, famous for its steep takeoff to reduce noise over Newport Beach, and Boston Logan, with curved departures to avoid flying over the city. But LAX takes the top spot for being both globally known and tightly regulated. So next time your plane turns before reaching the longest runway, just know air traffic control are picking the safest, most efficient option, not just the biggest one. Flying is a science, not a guessing game.